this one goes out to all the prideful, and while I know that not all of them are in America, it is the country I have the most experience with other than my own, and I don't think we're that bad with pride here. So, first of all, pride is not a virtue. I mean, if you want to go with the whole higher power thing, it's actually one of the seven deadly sins. <clears throat> Blind pride is not a good thing. It just legitimizes things that aren't necessarily good. Pride is something that you should be selective with. When something good happens, you can be proud of the source of the good thing. A lot of Americans are proud of America, just, just like that. You know, there's no... It's not... They don't really seem to take note of when America does something bad, you know, and it, I don't know, I, I have to wonder, this, w would you raise a child like this also, just always be proud of them no matter what they did, no matter how destructive their behavior was? I mean, I'm not trying to hate on America here, I'm just saying sometimes the country does something bad, all countries do, everybody does. Pride, blind pride, means that you're less likely to admit when you've made a mistake. And we all make mistakes, and we all have to admit, we have to own up to our mistakes. Or they'll end up owning us. If you can't admit your mistakes, people will be less and less inclined to be around you, and to to talk with you because any area where you've made a mistake if you're just blindly proud and defensive you're not very pleasant to talk to about that subject and blind pride keeps us from addressing the mistakes you can be proud of something that has made mistakes, just you might want to be proud of them when they're not making the mistakes, or be more proud when they're not making mistakes. But to just be blindly proud all the time, I was engaged to an American girl, and she couldn't admit anything negative about America. Or if she ever did, she, you know, make sure to say something bad about some other country. And because she was, in fact, American, it extended to her being proud of herself. So she couldn't admit her own mistakes. And this was part of what destroyed the relationship, because it was a really good relationship when it was at its best. And it's not like, I mean, just speaking from personal experience, but I wouldn't have, you know, given her a hard time, I wouldn't have given, I wouldn't have given her a hard time about the mistakes she made. I would have forgiven her and understood and, you know, maybe next time she wouldn't make that mistake. But instead, it was just this beyond reproach kind of thing. You couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't really criticize her or her country or point anything out that she felt bad about. There were things where I didn't even realize that she would get defensive, but she got defensive. I suppose I've made my point, so...